This is how you can make a Google Images command using your Discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go and get started. So we can start by going over to community and we're going to go ahead and create Google Images.js. And here we're going to get our slash command builder. We can also get our embed builder and then we can do equals require and we're going to go ahead and get Discord.js. Next we can do const Google equals require and we're going to get our images scraper package. Feel free to install that in your terminal. If you don't do this, this will not work. So just go ahead and install that. All right. So after you install that, we can do module.exports and we can go ahead and open this up. We're going to get our data and that is going to be our new slash command builder. Then we can go ahead and set a name. This is going to be Google images and we can go ahead and set a description here and we can say Google and image. Then after doing that, we can go ahead and add a string option and we can do option arrow function option dot set name. This is going to be our query. Then we can go ahead and set a description here. We can go ahead and say what image do you want to find and we're going to go ahead and set require to true. Then we can add a comma and we're going to do async executes. We can go ahead and get our interaction and we can go ahead and open this up. And here we're going to go ahead and do await interaction dot defer reply and we're going to go ahead and set informal to true. And then after doing that we can do const and we're going to go ahead and get our options and we're going to set that equal to our interaction. Then we can do const query equals options dot get string and that is going to be our query string. That way we can go ahead and access the input that the user made from the slash command. Next we can do const image equals new and we can go ahead and get our Google. We're going to go ahead and get puppeteer and we can go ahead and open this up. We're going to get headless which is going to be true. Now if we set this to false it's actually going to go ahead and open up a Google browser and it's going to scrape the image from that Google browser and give you the results in your console. Uh, but if we set it to true here, then it's not going to do any of that and it's going to scrape it privately. This is a lot nicer for the host or the person running the code on their computer, but it also is a couple of seconds slower. So just keep that in mind. So then after doing that, we can go ahead and add a semicolon here and we're going to do const results equals await and we can do image scrape and we're going to go ahead and get our query and we're going to go ahead and put in four. Now you could get more results than this could get like 200 or something like that but for some reason you can only send up to four images in an embed together so we're just going to go ahead and get four so next we can do const main embed and we can do equals new embed builder and we're just going to go ahead and set a url this is going to be https we can get youtube.com and then we can go ahead and set an image here and this image is going to be results zero and then we can do dot url so i'm going to explain this in a little bit but let's just go ahead and write everything in so we can go ahead and paste it again and this is going to be our second embed we're going to keep the url and we're going to set this number in here at 201 then we can go ahead and send it again we're going to go ahead and get our third embed and we're going to go ahead and keep the url the same and we're going to go ahead and set results to two and we're going to get our fourth embed and this is going to be url the same and we're going to set the results to three so what we're doing here is we're actually compiling all four image results into one embed. So for some reason, I don't know if this is a glitch or if this is intended, but if you set the URL the same for all four embeds that you go ahead and write or three or two, however many, but it's up to four, uh, you're going to go ahead and put all of the embeds into one and the images will come together into one embed so they're not all separated out. So after doing that embed logic here, we can actually go ahead and send this. So we're going to do await interaction edit reply and we can go ahead and get our embeds and we're going to pass in every single one of these embeds. So we can do a main embed, we can do second embed, we can do a third embed and we can do our fourth embed. So after doing that, we are actually done. So you can go ahead and save the file or restart the bot and we can go ahead and test this out. So before we actually go ahead and test this out, I would like to go ahead and thank this user from my Discord server for actually coming up with the idea to cram the embeds together to get all of the images in one place. Just credit to them for that part of the code. So over in the Discord server, we can go ahead and start off by getting our Google images command and we're just going to go ahead and write in dog, something simple. And as you can see here, it's going to go ahead and think, like I said, it might take a little bit for this to actually work. But once it's done, we'll go ahead and get a response. And as you can see here, it's going to go ahead and send our response. And like I said before, we're going to get all four images in the same embed from that cramming there. You could go ahead and set a color if you want. As you can see, I did not do that. Um, but if you go ahead and do that, make sure you set the color the same for every single embed. But as you can see, if we click on these images, it actually makes it bigger. And we can use these arrows to go through each image within this embed. And we can go ahead and try this again here. We can go ahead and say Discord this time. We'll get a more obscure topic for our image and we're just going to go ahead and let it think and as you can see here we're going to get all of our discord images so we have this random discord screenshot here 
and then we have this Discord logo, and we have another Discord banner, and as you can see here, we have another random Discord screenshot. So as you can make a advanced Google Images command using your Discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use the help channels here, and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.